If you have issues with Descript, with your recordings going out of sync, or if you upload a file and the audio is out of sync with the video, it's easy to fix this in Descript by using the sequence and by detaching the audio from the video. Let me show you how it works. My friend here, Sofian, he allowed me to use his project where he's experiencing this issue with audio drift or audio delay from the video. Let's see what it looks like. If we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. Hi. So you can see that the video is quite behind or I'm not really sure what's happening with the audio there, why it happened, because earlier in the project, it's actually working fine. Get that proposal signed and then invoice that client at some point so you can see that in this part, it is correct, but later down the line, it becomes out of sync. So I think this happened because of Descript's recorder or something happened in the recording that there was a glitch and then the audio started to become different from the video. So it was coming in maybe early. I, I'm not sure exactly what the reason is. The way to fix it is actually we need to separate the video from the audio first and then we need to go in and figure out where the audio becomes out of sync and adjust it from that point in this project i actually have the sequence here and i've renamed it out of sync but if you go inside of this sequence you're going to see the track so if i right click on the sequence and i go inside the tra the tracks see these are the two tracks and I've already separated these because you can do it by right clicking and saying detach audio, in which case the audio gets moved to a separate track inside of that sequence and the video is at the top. So let's see if it actually is out of sync in here as well. How can we simplify ourselves? How can you simplify yourself? So this is fine so far, but let's see where it actually goes bad. Your sales process between how can you simplify your sales process? So if I go and scroll down, 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 and you kind of need to do this by uh, spot checking because you don't know exactly where it's going bad. So you have to figure out, oh, in this point, it is not in out of sync. In this point, it is. So then you go back and forth between those points where you can notice the glitch. So let's see if we can find it. Okay, so I'm zoomed out. Let me try around four. As you can see, I would say 90% of all, of all the steps are... This is still good. Let me just see the video better. Let's go down the line here, 550. Deal here. We've got two products that we are selling, 16... Already the video is behind. Okay, so let's try to narrow this down. I'll go back here. Deal here with ABC. This is good. Well, you cannot... Including oh, it's between five ten and five twenty. Let's try five eight. You're ready to send a document for signature. Well, you cannot do anything else other than creating the document. There we go. There was a glitch right there. Five fourteen. There was a glitch. The video froze for just a tiny fraction of a second, and now the audio is out of sync. Let's watch this little part again. Do anything else other than creating the document out so the word else that is where the glitch happened now how do i fix this anything else other than creating the doc so what i need to do is i need to cut the audio track and move the audio back okay so i'm going to use the blade tool and by the way if your audio is on the same track as the video it means it's not been detached you need to right click on the video and say detach audio this doesn't do it anymore because it's already been done but that is how it allows you then to access the video and the audio files on their own inside of the sequence here i want to make a cut right before the word else because that's where the problem happens so i'm going to use the blade tool and click on the audio here before the word else and now I need to basically delay the audio a little bit because the audio is now fast and the video has glitched and it's been delayed, right? So let's see again. Do anything else other than creating the document. So I'm going to move the audio back like this and play again. Else other than creating the document outside of pipe. And I think the word else needs to be earlier. Mm -hmm else other than creating the document outside of pipe drive there you go fixed so this is the little delay here that i had to repair and by the way if you need like 
later to fix it again. You make a new cut and you push the audio back. I prefer to use the audio because I can see the words and I can see which words I'm moving and cutting. But you can do the same with the video if you want to. Just get a, a piece of the video and just cut it back and move that part before that. So I could have fixed this a different way. Let me show you how. I'm going to undo. Okay, so I've I've undone all those changes and now it's probably back to being glitchy. Thing else other than creating the doc. Now, if I want to fix this with the video, I need to make a cut in the video. So I need to figure out where I need to make the cut and how much I need to pull that video back to actually move it forward. So let's see. Anything else other than create. So I'm going to latch onto a word because I don't have the waveform. I don't have the words on this audio track, on the video track. So therefore, I need to latch onto something that I see on the screen, like the mouth pronouncing a specific word. Else other than creating the document. Creating is when it's happening, creating here. You see, creating. So look at this. The audio is ahead and the, the word is actually here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut in be before this word, right? So in here, use the blade tool, and I'm going to make a cut right there. And now I'm actually going to go to the select tool, and I'm going to drag this word forward a little bit like this. Let's see. Then creating the document outside of pipe drive. There you go. If you need to make a just a fine adjustment, just pull it. So let's play from here. Anything else other than creating the document outside of pipe drive and if you need to maybe shift more i can actually cut that trim that clip at the word else and bring this video expand it right there let's see else other than creating the document outside of pipe drive so perfect so this is how you fix these so basically you need to go forward and see maybe by spot checking all the way to the end of your recording uh, to make sure that it's all fixed and another glitch didn't happen along the way. So this sometimes happens when there is audio drift. Uh, some devices do that. I don't know, it's not enough keyframes or something like that. So there's drift, which means the audio gets out of sync with the video progressively over time. In that case, you may have to fix it with a speed change on the audio or video, but if it's not super noticeable and you can kind of play it for a few minutes before you start to notice it, you can also fix it this way by just making little cuts and shifting the video um, until you fix it. And another tip I have for you, you should probably fix this from the beginning to the end. Don't go to the end and fix something and then you go back to the beginning, go back to the middle, go back to the beginning again. Try to fix it from the beginning to the end because if you're shifting the video and audio, you need to also make sure that you're not creating those black gaps in the middle as you are fixing other portions. So always go from the beginning to the end and when you reach the end, you know that it's all good. And here we go. And look at this. Look at the difference I had to make in the video versus the audio versus this is the screen recording. So I, I, thank you. I think that's fine. But look at the difference here. It's almost two seconds, three seconds, something like that. So that's what can happen.